guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. Today, we're gonna do a Dollar Tree craft. Um, it's super easy, super quick, so let's get to it. Start this craft out with the four doormats that I got, the Dollar Tree, along with a roll of duct tape. Now, I am using something else today that I happen to have in my stuff that I didn't buy at the Dollar Tree, and that would be a spray can of paint and some painter's tape. However, not necessary for what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take these four doormats and I'm gonna lay them out on the ground for us. Okay, so here's one of the doormats at my front door, but you'll notice it's a little small. So my idea is to take the four that I have and make it one big one. So let me show you what that size will look like. Wow, look at that. So when I put all four of them down, that's a great size doormat. Now when I went, they only had three sayings that sort of went together. So I've got the home and the blessed and that this is our happy place. But I think it looks really cute having the this is our happy place there twice. So now what we have to do is take these four $1 doormats, get them to go together and stay together and make them one big doormat. So let's go back inside to do that part. So I brought them back inside. I have put them down. Um, with their, the bottom facing up in the correct order. And now what I'm gonna do is take my roll of duct tape and I'm gonna duct tape all the seams, okay? Now what I'm gonna be careful not to do is to run the duct tape over. I'm gonna bring the duct tape to approximately here on each one of the seams um, to seal them all together. So let me do that and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've duct taped. Now here's the thing, now all of these, they're only a dollar, some of them are slightly different sizes. So when I got to my ends, you can see I have a little bit of hangover on that side and a little bit of hangover on this side. And all I'm gonna do is take a pair of scissors and just blend it back in. I'm not gonna measure it, I'm not gonna try and make it perfect, I'm just gonna blend it back in. But other than that, I've got it all duct taped together and then we're gonna go to the next step. I'm gonna trim that up a little bit, then flip it over and do some taping for some painting. Okay, I thought I would show you, I'm gonna show you here really quickly that I did trim those up a little bit and just want you to notice I didn't go for a perfect line. Um, I should have trimmed them before I put the tape on. So I'm telling you that so you guys can do it in the right thing. But um, yeah, just trimmed it up just slightly. Didn't have to, I decided to. Um, if you want to take your time while shopping for these, you could really make sure you found out four, found four that were like exactly the same size, right? So let's flip her over and see what she looks like. Really great, just like I did when I put it in front of the front door. So now you might be wondering, what am I going to do next? Well, I think that maybe I should do something to tie these all together to make it look more cohesive, like one piece. And so I'm going to take some blue painter's tape. I'm gonna trim off all the way around a sort of a border, and then I'm gonna paint that with my blue Rust-Oleum paint. I happen to only have blue out there, however, I really like the contrast. I think it'll be really bright and fun, so I decided to go ahead and stick with that rather than going and getting another color tape uh, paint, but you could do this with any color paint. Um, I am gonna do it with the white, uh, blue, and we'll see what that looks like. So I'm gonna tape it off right now, and all I'm going to do is run the tape just right along the edge. Okay, so I wanna point out that the first piece of tape I put on, I put, like, wanted to make sure that, I'm gonna put another piece of tape and have a blue line border, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't go over any of the letters. So I put my inside piece of tape in first, or on first, rather. And then as I'm putting the tape down, I'm pressing pretty hard, because I am gonna spray paint. So I don't want too much seeping in. And I'm gonna put the second piece of tape on now to outline the border that I'm gonna paint with the paint. So I'm all done. I've taped it. You can see what I've done is put a border all the way around. But I am now gonna go outside and paint blue. So reminder, when we're using spray paint, you should do it outside so that you're not breathing in any fumes and always make sure that you cover so you're not over spraying on anything else. So I'm gonna come back, show you the finished product sitting in front of my front door and see what you guys think. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. How cute did this come out, you guys? 
Like, really, how cute is that? Now you go to a home store and buy a doormat like this. We all know you're going to spend, oh, probably $35 to $50. But I just got this one. I think it's so cute. I think it came out really, really well. Total cost, 4 bucks. So, everybody, hope your home is blessed. I hope your home is your happy place. And I hope you really enjoyed my front door doormat. Okay, so I hope you guys really like that. I think that's a really cool doormat. So a couple questions before anybody hits me up. How long will the duct tape last? I don't know. I'm doing this along with you guys. So, but even if it, I mean, I'm gonna assume maybe when there's rain or something, but you know, guys fix everything with duct tape. So it's gotta last a long time. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty easy to replace the duct tape. The other thing is I ended up putting a cross piece of duct tape at, um, each of the ends just to help support it a little bit when I flipped it over for painting. And one more thing, see this hat, how cute is this? Dollar Tree, like last year. A buck, people, a dollar, a dollar. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed that $4 doormat. I think it's, I think, I think it came out really cute. So I hope to see, um, hope you guys send me some photos of ones you do. Have a great day. See you later on Bella's Bargains. Mm -hmm.